The title of this course is Mathematical Modeling, the basics. The first question is, why would you make a mathematical model? And before that, what is a mathematical model? The word model has many meanings. A model may be a person, a model may be an object, an object to play with or to display or to explain with. Another type of model is a scale model. It can be used to simulate phenomena that are difficult to study in real life, such as the formation of a delta or the waves around a ship. A mathematical model, however, is not tangible. It is theoretical. A mathematical model is a representation of a real-life phenomenon in mathematical formulas. The formulas are then solved to simulate the phenomenon in theory, for example on a computer. Now, before making a mathematical model, first think about why you would do that. Of course, you can make a model to play with or to display its beauty. Engineers and scientists, however, build mathematical models to solve a specific problem. For example, the question of how to control the flight of a glider. You make a mathematical model to solve a specific problem or to answer a specific question. When you construct a model without a specific problem, you might end up with a beautiful model that was a lot of work and is useless. A work of art, but not answering a specific question. If um, I'll give you a relevant modeling problem. The mathematics department of our university is located in a 22-story building. In stormy weather, there are dangerously hard gusts of wind around this building. Would planting more trees help? Before spending money on new trees, you have to know whether that is effective. Of course, you could build a scale model or the university of the university buildings with and without small trees. Put it in a wind tunnel and then measure whether it helps or not. However, to accurately, how accurately will those measurements predict the wind speeds on a full scale? Luckily, nowadays there is an alternative. Computer simulations using a mathematical model. Researchers have used a model to simulate the wind our, uh, around our building with and without extra trees. And the answer is yes, more trees will help considerably. Are you impressed? Of course. But do not worry, this model is way too advanced for this course. The title is Mathematical, mathematical Modeling the Basics and we will start on a bachelor level. The first basic you have seen in this video, why would you spend time and effort to make a mathematical model? Of course, we hope that fun, ambition and artistry play a role, but the main reason should be to solve a specific problem or to answer a specific question. If you have a good modeling problem and you have made a ma mathematical model, then what? The problem and the model are two of the four elements in the modeling cycle, and that is the subject of the next video.